So I am sitting at the airport in one of those like hiding spaces that you don't want to pay for parking yet. <laughs> My sister and her partner and their baby arrive. Well, they've actually landed, but they're going to take a while to get all their stuff because obviously they're traveling with the baby. So they have the full works. Um, it's really been fun because I have, it's like a dress rehearsal, <laughs> um, preparing for their arrival and kind of, I realized we didn't have a high chair, so I went and got a high chair. Um, but yeah, just being kind of washing a whole load of things so that he has um, snowsuit options. Well, they actually phoned me and I had to drive around to pick them up because they were a lot quicker than I thought they'd be. We are now out at uh, the lighthouse beside Gunnar Quelt. Um, I thought it would be quite nice just to come here and then we could just have a walk around. But Aidan has fallen asleep, so I'm playing Auntie and sitting with him in the car. He's just down there. <laughs> um, I'd have let my sister and her boyfriend go and have a wander around because it is pretty nice. It's not raining at the moment. <laughs> it's windy, um, but it's only, I think, four degrees, so it's really not too bad. I could see them climbing a massive mountain right now. <laughs> A big cliff. That's them up there. Hopefully they do not fall because the ocean is down in there. <laughs> and no, that is not a real animal as my sister thought. But I'll show you what it looks like here. There you go. You can probably see some crazy waves. Like a vision of the future. So we have my little nephew and buggy, he's asleep, and we're taking him to his first Atlantic waterfall. Basically, I got up and did a bit of housewife stuff. <laughs> so I saw Ingmar off, got a load of washing on, cleaned the flat, got it ready for the next guests that are coming tomorrow morning. Um, we, I don't think I've ever said this actually in a vlog, but we do Airbnb, which I think pretty much everyone in Iceland does. Um, <laughs> but we have a spare room, so it will be the nursery. Um, but we Airbnb it right now, so. Basically, we have someone arriving tomorrow um, and I just need to make sure that the travel cot is down because that's still up from when my sister was here at the weekend. So, after that, I headed to Aquafit. When I came out of Aquafit, I had a message from Ingmar saying that he has a seminar this afternoon or a seminar meeting kind of thing and the person that is chairing it is the... Uh, first lady, so like the wife of the president of Iceland. Um, so he went in in jeans and t-shirt today because it is Friday. So I had to iron him a shirt and then get it down to him with some smart shoes for work. Once I got down there, Ingmar said, why don't you also join for the meeting? Um, I think you'll find it really interesting and maybe you can vlog some of it. So basically, that is what I'm doing now, is I'm running down <laughs> to his office to join this meeting seminar um, which is basically about women in business and I think it's kind of more around breaking barriers or helping women kind of get over barriers that there are in business already um, so it's a couple of different groups or representatives from associations groups um, here 
here in Iceland and I think maybe some Scandinavian countries as well, I'm not sure, I haven't even had time to really read it. Um, but yeah, it could be interesting. So I'm going down to join now um, and then afterwards I am finishing a commission that I'm currently working on. I introduce you to Eliza Reed. She's the first lady of Iceland and also a lot of people don't realize an entrepreneur. Um, she runs the Iceland Writers Retreat, which is a really fantastic uh, retreat for kind of world-renowned authors and those who aspire to be world-renowned authors. So welcome Eliza and thank you all for coming. I'm really glad to be here today, as Paula said, because I always one of the things that I enjoy doing very much is speaking to people about issues of uh, gender equality and empowerment of women and girls and entrepreneurship and, and development here. It is Monday. <laughs> Good start, Sonia. Um, it's actually really sunny. So today Ingemar has given me the task. Oh, this is um, one of those things, living in Iceland. He's given me the task of going to the garage and changing over the winter tires for the summer tires. So they're in the boot right now. And I'm going to try and figure this out. Um, <laughs> it could be interesting. I've got to go to the post office with a couple of orders from my online shop here. Um, and the reason I'm looking a little bit worn out is because I pulled a muscle in my back, which on a normal occasion would be a painful thing, but with the added discomfort of a bump on the front and um, a pulled muscle in the back, I'm not having the best of times right now. So I'm just gonna head out and try and get as much of the to-do list done today that I can, and then get back to bed with the heat pads and all sorts of things on me because you can't really take any painkillers. <laughs> this is fun. So I'm trying to decide if this queue is worth waiting in or if I should just get up early tomorrow and come back before anyone else is here. I don't know. Sounds a bit ridiculous but that felt like quite a manly thing to do and I'm quite proud of myself that I've done it. <laughs> That's pathetic. I'm so embarrassed because I drove over the ramp a little bit and had to reverse back up as well and then had to walk out the car and uh, speak a little bit of Icelandic and uh, I just got really overwhelmed. <laughs> Look at me, this is pathetic. Hey guys, so it's Saturday and today is the day that we are buying a car, a car seat. seat. <laughs> well, What's the word for it in Icelandic? Barna Bilstot. Barna Bilstot. Yeah, baby car chair. So this is the first uh, baby shop that I've been to in Iceland. Mm. How overpriced will it be? Let us see. It looks good. That's <laughs> cool for an option. Because we haven't looked at these for a while. Hmm. So they've let us try out the seat in our car to see how much room there is and so on. So we're uh, gonna give it a little install, see what it's like. Cool. This feels very adult. <laughs> Doesn't it? Do you want me to move the chair forward? Yes, please. Okay, one second. We'll just keep this footage so that we remember how to do it. <laughs> It does look pretty straightforward though. Clicks, <laughs> beeps. In case anyone's commenting down below to say that we're on the wrong side of the car, it's just because there's no car parked on this side, so it's much easier. There we go. Quite crazy to think that this bump will be sat in here in around two months' time or less. Ah. Decisions made, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Getting very real. Next up, give us energy and strength. <laughs> this is our romantic lunch. <laughs> Shopping that we got in IKEA. <laughs> 
And that's pretty much it for a bit of a catch up vlog. So I'm gonna really try and make an effort to get back into weekly vlogging. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.